it's a drug I use I use with cancer and it's a drug that we can use with this also it's an antiparasitic called niclosamide now niclosamide blocks the s glycoprotein induced membrane fusion and cystician formation niclosamide so I put everybody that comes to me go gets on several antiparasitics because the connection between parasites and cancer is profound but um, in addition all of those antiparasitics turn off mechanisms of cancer and the reason that's important to this discussion is that we have seen a, according to military data a 7500 percent increase in cancer incidents since 2021. I cannot tell you how important it is to get rid of all the har harmful organisms in your body. No matter what condition you suffer from, whether it's migraines again, or whether it's eczema, psoriasis, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, everything is associated with parasites, harmful organisms. That's why the ivermectin was working so good. People were taking ivermectin, all of a sudden their migraines went away. All of a sudden their cancer went away. All of a sudden their heart disease went away. All of a sudden their you know, rashes went away. Why do you think all of these things are going away? It's just like Royal Rife said, every condition, no matter what you're suffering from, is a parasit has a parasitical component to it. When I say parasites, by the way, I'm talking about all the different variations of mold you have in your body, all the different variations of fungus you have in your body, all the different types of flukes you have in your body, all the different types of worms you have in your body, all the different types of bacteria you have in your body. Dr. Royal Raymond Wright from the 1920s said every single condition that you have in your body has a harmful organism component to it. So not only do you get the shot or whatever they're putting in you, but all the parasites in your body also goes into their cells. So when you have all of these different bacteria, worms, organisms, flukes, fungus, mold, yeast, all this stuff in your system, it's also getting sick and exposed to whatever you're getting injected. What are they producing? The byproducts they're producing. Well, microorganisms produce formaldehyde, isopropyl alcohol. How do you know that they didn't have some other weird, you know, DNA, RNA, viruses inside of them, bacteria inside of them? So this is just like a huge toxic soup. The detox is 